Hello everybody, welcome to Stories by Shelley. I see you've chosen a lovely new story. Let's have a look. Oh, a Julia Donaldson favourite. It's called Jack and the Flum Flum Tree. And it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by David Roberts. Don't you just love our Julia Donaldsons? I She's definitely one of my favorite authors. And this one is a special story all about Jack and his friends. And they go on a voyage all the way to the Flum Flum Tree. Should we have a look? Let's see what it's about, everybody. Jack and the Flum Flum Tree. Jack and had a granny and his granny had spots oh, great big purple ones lots and lots the doctor came and he shook his head your granny has the moozles the doctor said and the only cure in the world he said is the fruit that grows on the flum flum tree and the only place that the flum flum tree grows is the faraway isle of blow your nose Oh no, Jack is going to have to go all the way to the land of the Flum Flum Tree. The Isle of Blow Your Nose. So, Jack built a boat and Jack found a crew. Look at his boat, nice big red boat. And he found a crew, red-cheeked Rose and stubble-cheeked Stew. And he said to Stu and he said to Rose, we're off to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. Look, they've got their map and off they're going to go on an adventure. Have you gone on an adventure before? Did you use a map so you knew your way where you were going? Or did you just follow the wind as it flew and blew into the sky? Ah, going on adventures is lots of fun. You can always draw a map and pretend that you're going on to a very mysterious place. And X marks the spot, hey? Now, Granny came down to the dock with Jack, and she gave him a bulging patchwork sack. And in that sack were a pair of wooden spoons, a porridge bowl, tent pegs, and some blue and red balloons. Granny's old skipping rope, a pack of chewing gum, three spotty hankies and a tom-tom drum. And Jack said, Granny, what is the use of those? Aha, uh -huh, Granny said, and she tapped her nose. There's all the things in the bag. Can you spot the blue and red balloons? What about the porridge bowl or the skipping rope? And then off sailed Jack with Stu and Rose to the faraway isle of Blow Your Nose. Sharks! cried Rose. Oh no! Look at the sharks. Oh, look at them all swimming under the ocean. Lots, lots, cried Stu. They'll gobble us, they'll guzzle us. Whatever shall we do? Oh no, look how scared they look. Look at the sharks swimming along. They look very hungry. Look at those big beady smiles. <laughs> Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. What do you think will be in the bag that Granny gave him that might help them with sharks? Hmm. Ah, look at this. Red balloons, blue balloons. They should do the trick. Puff, puff. Blow them up, let them go quick. And then the sharks went nip, and the sharks went nash, chasing the balloons with a bang, pop, splash. Look what they've done. They're throwing the balloons in the air, and the sharks are snapping at them. Pop, pop, bang, splash, pop, pop, bang, splash. Look at all the sharks. They think it's a big fun joke, hey? What a fun game, popping balloons. <gasps> A leak! Oh no, now look what's happened. Their boat is taking on water. It's wet, cried Stu. The boat is full of water. Whatever shall we do? Ah, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Hmm, do you know what they could use in the, bo in the bag that might help them with a leaking boat? 
Granny's pack of chewing gum. <laughs> that should do the trick. Chew it up, stretch it out, stick it in quick. So they chewed and they stretched and they plugged in the hole. Look there, they're using the bubble gum to pop it into the hole. And they bailed out the water with Granny's porridge bowl. Splish, splish. Then on sailed Jack with Stu and Rose to the faraway isle of Blow Your Nose. Whoops! Oh dear, what happened now? Look, look what happened. Help! cried Stu. I can't swim for Toffee. Whatever shall we do? Oh, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. So, let's open the bag again. Let's see how they're going to save Stu. He can't swim and he's fallen overboard. Ah, oh, clever. Granny's old skipping rope. That should do the trick. Hold tight. Throw it out. Grab the handle quick. So they heaved and they hauled and they pulled Stu in. Good old Granny, she saved my skin. Look at that, those skipping ropes helped rescue Stu before he sailed away. And on they sailed, Jack with Stu and Rose, till they came to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. Now look at this. There's an Isle of Blow Your Nose and what does it look like to you? What does the island look like? Does it look like a nose? <laughs> it does look a little bit like a nose. And there on the hill, for all to see, stood the bright green feathery flum flum tree. It's tall, said Rose. It's smooth, said Stu. It's not got any branches. What shall we do? Hmm. Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Oh, can you see all the creatures and critters that are spooking, like beady eyed, checking them out? Look at them. Everybody, oh, look at this man. Look at all the little monkeys. Lots of little creatures hiding in the forest. How are they going to climb this tall, tall, tall flum flum tree? What could they use? Ah, Granny's bag of tent pegs. They should do the trick. Bang, bang, knock them in. Climb up the tree quick. There we go. And then up went Rose, as nimble as can be, and she brought down the fruit of the flum flum tree. And then Jack and Stu and Rose had a doze on the soft, sandy beach of Blow Your Nose. Oh, look there, they've got the flum flum fruit that's going to help Granny. Ah, and it's been a long journey, so they're having a, ma a nap. A nice, easy afternoon nap. But wait! Ah! A thief! Oh no, look what's happened. Look! Ah! A monkey yelled Stu! He's got our precious flum flum! What shall we do? Ah! Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in our patchwork sack. I think they've used everything. What else could be left? Granny's spoons and the tom tom drum that should do the trick pick them up thump 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 sing a song quick the monkey crept closer he listened to the tunes and he put down the flum flum and he grabbed the wooden spoons and back sailed jack with stew and rose all the way home from blow your nose and they got back home, and Granny ate the flum flum, and the moozles disappeared. She's cured! Yay! said the doctor, and everybody cheered. And Jack said, oh, thank you for the pair of wooden spoons, the porridge bowl, the skipping rope, and the blue and red balloons. Thank you for the tent pigs and the pack of chewing gum, and thank you, Granny, for the tom-tom drum. But... The three spotty hankies? What were those for? What was the use of those? Hey, that's what, see, that's what's left. What do you think the three spotty hankies would have been used for? Hmm? What could they be used for?
And Granny laughed. And she said the hankies, silly, were to blow your nose. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed that story, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Thank you for coming along to Stories by Shelley. Bye, everyone.